Brittany Mahomes. That's right, the wife of NFL Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes. She's in the news again. And the reason why is that, well, she's not backing down from the woke mob. You know, I did a video last week, or was it earlier this week, where Brittany Mahomes is getting some backlash because, of all things, she liked a, an Instagram post from Donald Trump. <gasps> oh, the horrors. This is where we're at as a society in 2024. That if you're famous and, and you just happen to like the post of somebody that half the country doesn't like, they're going to come and attack you. They're going to go after you. They're going to try to cancel you. Now let's fast forward to uh, this act, act, article was actually written yesterday by, uh, well, I just found it over at Breitbart. Paul Boys, I think is, that's how you pronounce his last name. Brittany Mahomes appears to triple down on Trump support after backlash. Well, I won't back down. Well, that actually sounded pretty good. Yikes. Uh, Brittany Mahomes, the wife of Kansas City Chiefs star quarterback in NFL and Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, seems to have tripled down on her apparent Trump support in the face of haters. As Breitbart reported last week, Mahomes lashed out at haters who criticized her for appear appearing to like a pro-Trump post on social media. Oh my gosh. The NFL wife and Sports Illustrated swimsuit model took to Instagram to challenge both the mental faculties and emotional makeup of her detractors who smeared her for liking an August 13th Instagram post touting Trump's 2024 agenda. This is what she said. I mean, honestly, to be a hater as an adult, you have to have some deep-rooted issues you refuse to heal from childhood. There's no reason your brain is fully developed and you hate to see others doing well. Of note, the post apparently liked by Mahomes included calls to seal the border and to keep men out of women's sports. Oh my gosh, this is so controversial. After the intense backlash, Mahomes appeared to remove the like on social media. Still, according to Fox News, the former soccer player appeared to like several comments on her most recent Instagram post that indicated support for Trump. Uh-oh. What's, what's going to happen with Taylor Swift in the, in the suites come football season? Are they going to be on opposite sides? Are they going to hate each other's guts? Because we know Taylor Swift doesn't like Donald Trump. Or are they just going to be in separate suites and not talk to each other? How's this, how's this going to affect team chemistry between Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey? Oh, the questions swirling the off-the-field antics for the Kansas City Chiefs is going to derail their Super Bowl aspirations in 2024. One of the comments she liked was Trump Vance 2024. Oh, no. The other comment referenced her recent social media activity that she that has suggested support for Trump and draw backlash from those who did not support the former president. That comment said, glad to see you are backing down. We are all entitled to our own opinions and shouldn't be bullied into submission. Exactly. That's my entire point of this video. That's my entire point of the previous video that I did. Is you don't back down. You don't apologize. Because if you apologize, then they just keep piling on more. Because now you've enabled them. Kelly Stafford, the wife of Los Angeles Rams quarterback, Matthew Stafford, appeared to like... The second comment. Oh, watch out, Kelly. They're going to come after you next. TMZ Sports and New York Daily News both reported on Wednesday evening that Mahomes appeared to have unliked those comments. Well, she, not a surprise, she unliked the, the previous post. I personally, I wouldn't have unliked those posts. I would have just kept it up there. Heck with it. It should be noted that her husband, Patrick Mahomes, has never spoken publicly about his political affiliations, as he should not. He is exactly right. More athletes, whether it be baseball, football, hockey, basketball, soccer, you name it, 
need to do the same thing. When it comes to politics, just keep your mouth shut. I'm talking to you, LeBron James. We don't need to know who you support and who you don't support. All that does is add to the divisiveness. That's why actors up until, I want to say probably the 19, I could be wrong, could be 1980s, but even into the 1990s, didn't say a whole lot about who they supported politically. Very few came out and said, I support X or I support Y or I support Z. And that's because as a society, we didn't really care. We didn't ask. We didn't want to know. But now everybody has to take sides. Who do, who do you support? Who do you support? Oh, you don't support my guy? Well, I don't like you then. We can't be friends no more. I mean, that's where we're at now, which is crazy. So this past April, Patrick Mahomes told Time in an interview that he would be staying out of the 2024 election. I don't want to pressure anyone to vote for a certain president. Patrick said, I want people to use their voice, whoever they believe in. I want them to do the research. That's a breath of fresh air to hear coming from somebody that's famous, has a little bit of clout. And again, Brittany Mahomes has nothing to do. She's not part of the NFL. And it's okay if two people that are married have different views. I think of Mary Matlin and James Carville going back, way back to the 90s. They were two people on opposite sides of the aisle. They got married. They even had their own radio shows that talked the opposite of topics of the day. So it's okay, people. That's all I'm saying. And until somebody stands up like a Brittany Mahomes, or until more people start standing up like Brittany Mahomes, we're going to continue the cycle of this cancel culture BS that needs to stop. So there you have it. Brittany Mahomes, good for you. I would have not unliked those posts. I would have still liked them. But you know what? You got to do you. So... What do you guys think? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys later.